three to two. South Diego to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Tom Albert. And we have a beautiful South Diego. Another great day for baseball. As the Greenfield High School baseball team comes into town to a new little rivalry with the Frontier Red Hawks still on the beat after the big win the other day over Hopkins Academy. Yeah, Frontier's been looking strong all season. I don't know whether if they, uh, they can keep it up today. And then, uh, Greenfield's also another good powerhouse team. They've been looking great as well. so-called Apex Predator for Frontier take on Brody Bear for Greenfield Senior. This should be a good pitching matchup. Greenfield's got a lot of offensive weapons uh, and they've got some good speed on the base pass as well. So it should be a very interesting matchup today. And uh, the wind could play a factor. Very windy out here in the field. And uh, the Frontier Red Hawks, of course, um, have gotten some timely hitting in recent days. From ben Martino, Sam Schreiber, who will hit three and two respectively. And uh, also Liam Skavisky Bannock will be in the field at third base. But uh, Jay Brusak is in the DH. And uh, Dylan Barton will be catching for Tyler Baranowski, who again uh, was lights out going the distance against Hopkins. That field. Speaking of Hopkins, Greenfield had an interesting matchup with Hopkins recently, and uh, an 11-inning thriller that uh, you know, was just epic matchup for the Greenway and the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. So we'll see what uh, Greenfield can do today, and we'll see what Frontier can do. And we're here for the season. So we thinking about deep run in the postseason. Coach Nick and uh, Coach Williams are at uh, on plate, talking things over. They shake hands and we'll get ready for baseball here momentarily from South Deerfield. Again, a beautiful day. Windy, partly sunny, and not too hot, although it's going to be hot tomorrow. Uh, we lucked out today with the uh, weather being what it is. Megan, right? You want this one to be. You want this one to be on the bottom of this one? Yeah. Is that going to get the bottom? I can't see from this Are position. So the Frontier Red Hawks take the field and get ready for the start of action here at beautiful South Deerfield. The field is in perfect condition. And they'll see if Tyler Baranowski can uh, come back and have the same kind of performance he had against Hopkins the other day. That was uh, an excellent, excellent 
go the distance performance. Yeah, he's he's been a great pitcher there for Frontier this year. And good thing is that Frontier, he's only a junior, so he'll be around next year. That's right. Definitely the ace of this staff. And the two power, power bombers in the uh, lineup as well with uh, Jake Bryant batting cleanup and uh, Skrubisky Bannock at third base today. Let's give you the starting lineup for the Greenfield Greenway. Leading off and playing shortstop is Jake Petrin. Batting second, Jake Sack. He plays second base. David Carey is the pitcher. He bats third. Mike Pierce is the DH. Bats cleanup. Carlos Cardinales is the catcher. Bats fifth. MJ Paul in the first baseman bats sixth. Tyler Porowski is the center fielder, number 23. And batting eighth is TJ Thebalt, the third baseman, and Trevor Kaczewski, the right fielder, bats ninth. And Jake Petrin stepping in from the left side of the plate as we get ready to play some baseball here in South Deerfield. Baranowski winds and deals. And it's a bunt. Right out in front of the pitcher, Baranowski goes to first. And Petrin is retired one to three. Good play. Great play there by uh, Frontier to get that first out. One down for Jake Sack, the second baseman. On base, on base, Sack. Sacker was a big part of that uh, Greenfield High School basketball team the last couple seasons. Barnowski's pitch is high, ball one. Strike on the outside corner. One and one is the count. David Carey is the pitcher today. Strike at the knees. Actually, Brody Baird is playing second base. I had him listed as pitcher, but he's second baseman, but he's not batting. So one and two to Carey. That's a sack, rather. And that one's outside. Two balls, two strikes to Jake Sack. David carries on deck, followed by Mike Pierce, if any one of those guys gets aboard. Curve ball just high. Three balls, two strikes. Sack fouls it off into the woods. Stays alive. Jake Sack, the son of uh, Gary Sack, was a legendary Turner's Falls player back in his day. Ground ball up the middle. And over to first. And nice play to retire the side. To record the second out. That was Kyle Barnes to Jake Bryant. Two down, and the batter is David Carey, the pitcher. And if he gets on, Mike Pierce, the DH, will bat. High inside, ball one. Barnowski winds and deals. Foul tip. One ball, one strike. Fly ball into short right field. And that's the out that retires the side. Three up, three down for Greenfield. We go to the bottom of the first. You feel nothing, Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Starting lineup for the Frontier Red Hawks. Kyle Barnes leads off, plays shortstop. Batting second, Sam Schreiber, the left fielder. Ben Martino, the second baseman, bats third. Jake Bryant, first baseman, bats cleanup. Kevin Bauman in right field, bats fifth. Liam skrubisky bannock plays third and bats sixth. Jake Dodge, center fielder, bats seventh. Tyler Baranowski, the pitcher, bats eighth, and Shane Prusak, who's the DH today, 
bats ninth. And on the mound for Greenfield Junior, David Carey. No, it's it's not that. Yeah. So Kyle Byrne steps in from the left side of the plate. Yeah, no. Strike on the outside corner from David Carey. Nothing in one to Barnes. Am I good? You're fine. Curveball just catches the outside corner. Nothing in two to Barnesy. Is that better? Yeah. Ground ball to short. Gobbled up, throw to first, and one down. So Barnes has cut down six to three, and a good play by the shortstop for Greenfield. Petrin, and the batter is Sam Schreiber, the left fielder. He actually had the big hit against Hopkins that got that rally going that sealed the deal for Frontier in that big win. Carry for the windup, curveball off the end of the bat to third. Over to first, just in time. So two down for Ben Martino, the second baseman. Strike at the knees. Nothing in one. Fastball at the knees. Nothing in two quickly to Barantino. Outside for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Let's see if Martino can protect the play here. Curve ball in the dirt. He wins the count, two balls, two strikes. ball through the hole. Base hit to right field. So, or left field rather. So Martino is on with a two-out single and the batter will be Big Jake Bryant. <laughs> Quick move back to Paulin. Martino obviously a threat to steal. Carry from the stretch. And the pitch. Low for a ball to Bryant. If he gets on, Kevin Bauman will be the hitter. <clears throat> Martino off first. Low for a ball. Two balls, no strikes to Bryant. Quick move back to first. Bartino is back safely. Josh is. Ball three. So suddenly Bryant's head on the count three and zero. Carry keeping the ball down. He knows he does not want to throw it in the strike zone if all possible to this guy. Yeah, definitely not. He doesn't want to give something Jake Bryant can. Uh, Anything close. Martino is off with the pitch. Strike, throw to second. Martino has a stolen base. So three and one the count. And Martino in scoring position for Bryant. Curveball fouled off. 
as Brian protects the plate there. Carry from the stretch. Martino leads off second. And it's a walk for Jake Bryan. So Bryant's aboard. No, uh, balls. Yep. Now Kevin Bowman's up. He's a uh, he's a good hitter. And he, he's not afraid to wait for his for the right pitch. Two on, two out for KB, the right fielder. Ball in the dirt. One and zero. Yeah, and he had three walks in the game against Hopkins. He did. And that third walk walked in a uh, tying run. He's got a very good eye. Curve ball high. Two balls, no strikes. So Frontier's got something going here. Carey having some trouble finding the strike zone here in this first inning. Bauman, a little flare in the right field. That's going to fall in for a hit. Martino comes around. He will score. And it's 1-0 yeah. Frontier. An RBI single for Kevin Bauman. Oh, yeah, that was a, just like we said, good blooper to right. Scored Martino and moved Jake to third. And the batter will be Liam skrbisky bannock who has runners at the corners. And two out. It's a little two-out rally here for Frontier. Quick move back to keep Bauman honest. Don't be surprised to see Kevin take second here. And Bauman takes off, and he will not face the throw as Bauman takes second. So runners in scoring position now for Liam skrbisky bannock the third baseman. If he gets on, Jake Dodge will be the hitter. Curve ball outside. A carry has really struggled here in the first inning, finding the strike zone. Yeah, that's not like him. After two quick outs, he's had a tough time. Maybe the wind has an effect. Ball skips over the catcher's mitt. It's a ball. Yeah, and they could load the bases here with two outs if they walk them. That's right. Jake Dodge is waiting on deck. Fastball strike. There you go. We found that zone. No doubt on that one. Yeah. And we'll lever back to the pitcher. Carey throws to first, and that will retire the side. The Frontier gets one. And we'll go to the bottom of the top of the second inning with the score. Frontier one and Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. So it'll be Mike Pierce, Carlos Cardinales, and MJ Paulin, the hitters, for Greenfield in the second inning. Frontier leads one nothing. Courtesy of the RBI single by Kevin Bauman that scored Ben Martino in that first inning. Baranowski winds and deals. Curve ball, just high ball one. Same spot, high ball for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Fly ball. Long fly ball there. Left field, and Schreiber's under it. And he hauls it in for the out. One down for the catcher. Carlos Cardinales, the senior. No, I was moving that under. 
Banowski winds and deals. Fouled off, strike one. Yep. Swing and a miss. Two quick strikes on Cardinalis. Curve ball just misses high. One ball, two strikes. Tried to fool him with the hook there. Ground ball to third. Skabriski Bannock pulls it up, throws to first, and it's going to be not in time as Cardinalis beats it out. Infield hit for Carlos. So one man aboard, and the batter will be M.J. Paulin. M.J. Sister McKenzie, an eighth grade pitcher for the Greenfield softball team, just won Mass Live Athlete of the Week hey. as an eighth grader. That's incredible. M.J., of course, was a stalwart on that Greenfield High School hockey team this year. Unbeaten. He was also part of the championship team from the previous year. And will probably be the team's captain next year. He was an assistant this year. Quick throw back to first. Cardinale is back. Cardinale is wearing a mask. Paulin digs in from the left side. Cardinale goes. Throw down to second. And he's going to make it safely. So Cardinale is the stolen base. And Paulin still at the plate. Tyler Podolski is the on deck hitter. On swings and misses. Good cut strike. Looked like Baranowski took a little bit off that one. Bit of a change up. Ball on the outside Ooh. corner, strike three. Oh, nasty. So MJ Pollen is down looking, and the batter will be Tyler Podolski, the center fielder. Ball low, one and zero to Podolski. One on, two out for Baranowski. High for a ball. 2 and 0. High ball, 3. 3 and 0 to Podolski. Ebald is the on deck hitter. Her ball high, so Podolski is on four straight pitches. So Greenfield has two runners on, two out, and TJ Feeball, the third baseman. Yeah, Tyler's got to lock in here. Come on, TJ. Curveball high for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Strike on the inside corner. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. If T ball gets on, Trevor Kaczewski will be the batter. Strike on the inside corner again. That was same almost, spot. Yeah, the same spot there. <laughs> Baranowski from the stretch. High for a ball. 2-2. Two -two. She's got to protect here. Ground ball to short. Barnes gobbles it up over to 
first and the side is retired. So, no harm, no foul. Greenfield strands two. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Frontier one, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Jake Dodds, Tyler Baranowski, and Shane Pruzak, the hitters for uh, Frontier in the bottom of the second inning. Leading 1 0. Dodge, of course, made that incredible catch to end the Hopkins game in dramatic style. Who's a comedic junior? I don't know. Ground ball, the second. Baird over to Pollen, and he got it. The grass definitely slowed it down there. Yep, Baird had to charge in on that one. So Dodge is out four to three, and the batter will be Tyler Baranowski, the pitcher. <laughs> Same thing, work on top, David, let's go. Curve ball just inside. Ball one to Baranowski. That one's in the dirt, gets by Cardinalis. <laughs> Strike at the knees. So two strikes now on Baranowski. Curve ball, strike. Actually, that's two strikes now on Baranos. He has a nice hook. And now he's got to protect. Swing and a miss. Cardinales drops the ball, throws the first. And no, he got in. He's off the bag. It was a strikeout, but the throw to Pollen was high. He had to jump to get it. So Baranowski K's, but is on first. And the batter will be Shane Prusak. This goes, shows you the importance of running it out. Yeah, the motto for our summer baseball team was no matter what, just run it out. <laughs> you know, because you never know what's going to happen. Exactly. And that's a good example of it right there. So Prusak will step in. And now a quick timeout is... Coach goes back to the third base. Oh, they're going to pinch run. Oh, they're going to have the courtesy runner, right. Looks like Ethan Mashan. So Mashan will come in and courtesy run for Baranowski, the pitcher. So Mashan will lead off first. Yeah, and he's definitely got some speed. Played basketball for uh, the Red Hawks. Oh, yeah. Ball low to Prusak. On deck, Kyle Barnes, top of the order for Frontier. Carry it from the stretch. Fastball down the middle. Quick pickoff move. Pollen's able to block it. 
Oh, you live dangerously when you do that. Yeah. Don't want to be out there too long. Carry. Curveball high. Very high. <laughs> Wonder if Michonne will steal here. And Carey keeps him honest. I know it throws it over again. Michonne leading off. And he's going to go. Foul ball, uh, so otherwise he had the base stolen. Hit and run play there, I guess. <laughs> Carry. From the stretch. Lashawn leads off. He'll go Takes again. Off. The Cardinal is his throw, and ooh, he's got it. Just barely beat the throw. It's a good throw by Cardinal. It's a little high. Yeah. It was actually a really good uh, throw. Pruzak strikes out on the play. So Michon's at second, and the batter is going to be Kyle Barnes, who grounded out to short his first time up. If he gets on, Schreiber will be the hitter. Carey fakes back. Fastball inside. Nothing in there. One and oh. To Barnes. Curveball outside. Ball low. See if Kyle can do something with two outs here. I looked at man in scoring position. Oh, oh they caught him picked off. Michonne was yeah. headed off to third and Carey caught him. Now and Michonne gonna... caught in a rundown. Is he gonna get there? And no one was there at third. He got there. So Michonne was able to worm his way through that rundown at the third base. Great effort there by Ethan Michon. <laughs> well, I mean, Greenfield broke the cardinal rule on that one. You gotta have somebody on the bag at all times in a rundown situation. And that time, Michon might have hurt himself going in. Definitely got some dirt on him. <laughs> Smothered that, in dirt. That should have been the end of the inning right there, but so a break for Frontier and a chance for Barnes with a single to go up 2-0. In the windup, carry with a strike. There's two outs. And Barnes is gonna Ooh. is gonna walk. Wow, that was close. That was definitely generous. So Barnes is on board, though. So two on, two out, and the batter is Sam Schreiber, who grounded out to third his first time up. If he gets on, Ben Martino will be the hitter. So now you got speed on both sides of the bases. Kyle. I wouldn't expect Barnes to be at first for long. Yeah. There and here go. goes Kyle. Cardinal has fakes the throw. And again, no one that's covering third. And Barnes takes second, so Barnes at second. And we have Michon at third. And Schreiber is the hitter. So two ducks on the pond here with two gone for the Hawks. 
Ball low in the dirt. Good play by Cardinales to block it and keep Michonne at third base. And like you said earlier, Chris, uh, Sam Schreiber had that hit against Hopkins. And I think in the bottom of the sixth inning. Yep, that was what sort of spurred the rally. Swing and a miss for a strike. Come on, David, take him to show. Wind up in the pitch. Just outside for a ball. Yeah, David Carey's having a hard time finding that zone. It's unlike him. Well, he's pitching and trying to pitch around some of these streaky hitters for Frontier. And ground ball up the middle, base hit. Mashan will score. Barnes will score. It's a two out, two RBI single for Sam Schreiber. Once again, Sammy, Sam Schreiber with uh, another great hit, a timely hit. He just stuck the bat out, put the bat head on the ball, and it's 3 nothing for the Hawks. So Schreiber continues to do damage at the plate. And the batter is Ben Martino, who singled and scored a run his first time up. Oh, back quick is Schreiber. I'm sure he'll, he'll run if given the chance. Strike right down the middle. I'm going to go up to camera adjustment and I'm going to place a battery in so uh, between appearances or whatever. Sam takes off. Schreiber takes off and he's going to get second, no problem. So a stolen base for Sam. You can hear that, by the way. No, but Martino's got him in scoring position. In 3 0 Greenfield, bottom, or for, for Frontier, rather, bottom of the second inning. The umpire having some words with the Greenfield bench. <laughs> I think uh, somebody was chirping over there, and they've been warned. Is the next one an injection? I think so. Carry from the stretch. Strike. Good pitch. Ben strikes out. So that one the inning. And now end the inning. So Martino goes down on strikes, but Frontier does the damage. They score two more runs at the end of two. Frontier three, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. It'll be Trevor Kaczewski and the two Jakes, Jake Peeker and Jake Sack, the hitters for Greenfield in this top of the third inning. Frontier up 3 0. Courtesy of the two out RBI single by Sam Shriver in the second. Tyler Baranowski back to the hill. And Kaczewski steps in. And he bunts. Fielded by Baranowski over to first. And he's out one to three. One nut and one down for Jake Petrin, who also bunted to the pitcher his first time up. Be impressed, be impressed. On base, on base. <laughs> High for a ball. One ball, no strikes. <laughs> Foul back. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. We haven't seen, I don't think at all, uh, any fouls, foul tips gone into the woods Only today. one. I've only seen one so far. That's lucky. There's a ton in the Hopkins right. game. Strike in the outside corner. One and two to count. Curve 
Curveball just misses. Two balls, two strikes to Jake Petron. And he reached for that one and he strikes out. Bangs the bat on the ground as he reached. He definitely flailed at that one. So two down for Jake Sack. Who grounded out to short his first time up. If he gets on, David Carey, the pitcher, will be the hitter. See if uh, Jake Sack can get anything going with two outs. Ground ball to short. Barnes gobbles it up, throws to first. And the side is retired. Six to three again. One, two, three inning for Baranowski and the Hawks will go to the bottom of the third. Frontier three and Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. So it'll be Jake Bryan, Kevin Bauman, and Liam skrbisky bannock three hitters for Frontier. Nursing a three nothing lead here in the bottom of the third. Jake walked his first time up as far as third. Yeah, and two strong innings for Frontier, especially that last one. Ball outside to Bryant. Ooh. Big cut. One ball, one strike. He's swinging for the fence. Yeah, on that gonna, he was thinking that top of that tent. <laughs> Just inside. Oh, oh, they got the inside corner. He jumped back like it was too far inside, but one and two the count now to Bryant. So now I wonder if fancy stuff will come out. Nope. Ground ball to short. And over to first for the outs. Go. So Bryant's retired six to three. Six, seven, and the batter will be Kevin Bauman. Oh, foul tip at the mitt. Foul tip at the plate. Just got a piece of it. <laughs> Bauman had an RBI. Reached second his first time up. Yeah, that blue burn to right field, which scored uh, two runners. Curve ball just catches the inside corner. No balls, two strikes. Make your play, defense. Fouled off. Still holds the count at 0 and 2. And again, protects the plate nicely, follows it off. Yeah, he's doing a great job of protecting that plate. See if it can turn into something. Carey winds and deals. Inside, one and two. Big poke to left field. Actually center field and put away for the outs. So gave it a good ride, but nothing doing there. <laughs> so two down for Liam skrbisky bannock who grounded out to first his first time up. No ground out to the pitcher, rather, his first time up. And he hit him. No, and it's him. Just caught him on the arm. And that will bring up Jake Dodge, who grounded out to second his first time up. So the first hit batsman of the game for Carey. See if Jake Dodge can get something going here. Two outs. Strike on the inside corner. Nothing in one. Yeah, Frontier's had, they've gotten their hits off of uh, two outs rallies in the past two innings. 
correct. Curveball. Dodge fouls it off. Off. Way behind, Very low. nearly hit us. Oh, went right over our heads. Still two strikes to dodge. It's risky. Bannock leads off first. And dodge. Never down to third. And is it going to go foul? It's going to stay fair, though. Stayed fair. Didn't go foul. So Dodge gets a infield number. He's on board. So first and second now as Skariski moves up. And the batter will be Tyler Baranowski, the pitcher. So that thing just died there on the grass. And they were waiting for it to go foul. It didn't go anywhere. Yeah. The grass is short, but just kills anything on the infield. Curveball high to Baranowski. If he gets on, Pruzak will be the hitter. Baranowski struck out his first time up. But managed to get on first because he, the third strike was dropped and he ended up scoring a run. Yeah. Like we said before, that's always why you got to run it out. Never know what's going to happen. Strike right down the middle. Two strikes on Tyler. Pitcher versus pitcher here. See if David gives him the curve. Line drive, Ball base out. hit up the middle. Skrbisky Bannock is gonna round third. He is gonna score. It's an RBI single for Tyler Baranowski and it's four nothing Frontier. Dodge moves up to third, and Skrbisky Bannock scores. And again, a two-out rally for Frontier generates another run. Yeah, that was a great contact swing there by Tyler Bernowski to win that battle. Pruzak, the DH, steps in. Struck out his first time up. Quick play back to first. It's Baranowski taking the lead off first. Ball Number low. Dirt. Tyler will just take second easily. Yeah, Cardinalis didn't know where it was, so Baranowski moves up to second. So two on for Pruzak, two out. Another two out rally by Frontier. Carey steps off the rubber. Now we'll go from the windup. Low for a ball. If he gets on, we go back to the top of the order. Kyle Barnes. Hey, David, get hit three, hit three. Got two, let's go. Come on, David. Nice pitch. Low for a strike. Come on, David. Swing and a miss. Two strikes on Pruzak. Swing and a miss, and Pruzak goes down on strikes, and that ends the inning. But Frontier gets another one, and at the end of three, Four nothing. And, and it's 4 nothing Frontier. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals right next to the common in South Deerfield. 
Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burnett and Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Okay, it'll be David Carey, Mike Pierce, and Carlos Cardinales, the hitters for Greenfield in a bit of a hole, 4 nothing. With the Apex Predator on the mound, Tyler Baranowski, who's pitched a quite a good game so far. Yeah, for, uh, Greenfield, they had something going in that uh, second inning, but came up with nothing. Ball low in the dirt. Nothing there, 1-0 and to David Carey, who flat out to center field his first time up. Pokes that one foul left. That was a deep shot. That's going to hit the score. <laughs> Yikes. Straighten that one out in the iron business. Yeah, the outfield should learn something from that. Maybe take a couple steps back. One and one the count. Fly ball, short right field. This one's going to drop in for a hit. So carries on board with a single to right. Yeah, no, he won't be at first for very long. He'll probably steal. And the batter will be Mike Pierce, the DH. Flight out to left his first time up. Carey leads off first. Barnowski pitch high for a ball, 1-0. Quick move back to first. Keeps carry honest. Ground ball to third. Uh, Skubisky Banachek drops, throws it to first. Good scoop by Bryant. So they get the runner at first. Carry moves up to second. Yeah, it was a hard hit ball to third base. But it was a good, good way to get that, get that out. Good job by Bryant to be able to pull that one out of the dirt. And the batter will be Cardinalis, the catcher, who now well, a conference on the mound. Cardinalis walked his first time up and reached second. Quick talk of what they're doing. Maybe you'll see it. <coughs> a bunt play. A what? Uh, a bunt. Oh, a bunt, yeah. To move them over to third. Yeah. It's possible. Carinolds gets on, and it'll be MJ Paul on the hitter. I don't know if they'll do that or not, though. Right, now let's digs in. Ranowski the pitch. Swing and the miss. Strike one. Curve ball. Swing and a miss. As that one was very tantalizing. Just sort of hung out there. And two strikes quickly to Carlos. Cardinalis fouls it off. Still no balls, two strikes. And fouled off. Again, another curveball. Yeah, good way to protect the plate. By uh, Carlos. See if Tyler goes fastball or curve. Right now, it pops it up. 
And in fact, it's caught by Veronowski. They're going to double him off second. So F1, and they double off Carey at second. And that ends the inning. So the threat is gone for Greenfield. Let's go to the bottom of the fourth, Frontier 4, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the order for Frontier to here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It'll be Cal Barnes, Sam Schreiber, and Ben Martino, the hitters for the Hawks, leading 4 0. Greenfield was threatening there, the runner at second, and then end of that last inning, and then a quick pop out double play ended the threat. Yeah, so top of the order here for Frontier. Barnes walked and scored a run his last time up. He grounded out to short. Maybe he'll get a hold of one here. Uh, popped up. And the catcher, the pitcher rather, will pull it in. So first ball swinging. Barnes flies out to the pitcher, Carey. And that brings up Sam Schreiber. The single, then uh, had a couple of RBIs. And grounded out to third. He's one for two. That fouled off. Uh, he was out, so. He apparently fouled off in there. He didn't foul it off. He hit it into fair territory. So one unassisted on that one. So two gone quickly. And the batter will be Ben Martino. Martino singled, scored a run his first time up, and struck out last time. It looks like uh, Frontier's coach will talk He's it over. question it, but I don't think this is, It was in fair territory. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get clarification. <laughs> Martino is the hitter. If he gets on, Jake Bryant will be up. Curveball strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one to Ben. Martino pops it in foul territory. No play. No balls, two strikes. As the train blows through. Oh, David. So we'll see if Martino can get something going with two outs as uh, Frontier. <laughs> Every inning has gotten something going with two outs. Seems to be there. Play. <laughs> Low for a ball, one ball, two strikes. To Ben. In the dirt. Dead evens the count, two and two. High for a ball. So after going up 0-2 on uh, Martino, the count is now full. Ground ball to third. Got it up for a first. Did he get it? Save. He made it. Just beat the throw. Yeah, that was a tie usually goes to the runner. Good speed there by Martino, so he's on board. And the big man comes up. Jake Bryant walked, reached third his first time up, but he ground out to short his last time, so he's due. Yeah, and again, Frontier could have something going with two outs. Martino leading off. Carey go, throws him back. Martino, they're... Definitely inside of Carey's head a little bit every time he's been on the base paths. Yeah, definitely. That's good Line drive, base hit to left field. First ball swinging. 
Martino crosses second. He'll stay. So it's a single. Two outs for Jake Bryant. Now something's brewing here for Frontier. And, and the fourth. batter will be Kevin Bauman. He's already got one hit today. Flat out to center his last time up. Another two-out rally for the Hawks. Carey with the pitch. Swing and a miss. Actually got a piece of it. Fouled off. Nothing in one. If Bauman gets on, it'll be Liam skrbisky bannock the hitter. Bauman, Ooh. line drive goes down the third baseline foul. Yeah, and the Whoa. Frontier's coach. Nearly got the coach. Yeah, you got out of the way just in time. <laughs> it's a hard hit ball over there. <laughs> See if Kevin can strain it out. Ground ball. And the play is to first, and it gets by. I'll be out of play. Hits Megan. <laughs> Martino's going to score. <laughs> and Bauman will go to first. And Bryant to third. So it's 5 nothing Frontier. Megan's been wounded. <laughs> and Leon skabriski bannock will be the hitter. He was hit by a pitch his last time up and scored a run. Another two out rally for Frontier. Strike called. Yeah. I would, I would feel pain if I didn't break these three. Things. Swing and a miss. So two quick strikes on Skrbisky Bannock. He's a softball, softball player here. <laughs> Let's see if Liam <laughs> keep it going. Fouled off, so protecting the flight there. Still 0-2 to big Liam skrbisky bannock If he gets on, Jake Dodge will be the hitter. Oh, and he got him in the inside corner. So skrbisky bannock goes down looking, and that will end the inning. But another one crosses the plate for Frontier. And at the end of four, it's Frontier five and Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Action. So top of the fifth, MJ Pollan, Tyler Podolsky, and TJ Thibault will be the hitters for Greenfield. And with the play-by-play, -play, we go to Tom Albert. All right. Huge swing and a miss. Pollen struck out looking his first time up. Yeah, and Greenfield's definitely got to get something going here. Otherwise, they could be in trouble because they're down 5 nothing. That one's outside. Ball. Now the count's 1-1. One one. Good hit. To second base, and they'll get that out there. So, uh, good play there by Ben Martino to get over to Jake Bryant. Now, uh, now up to bat is TJ Thibel. But Tyler Podolsky. Oh, is, Tyler Podolsky. Yeah. He uh, walked and reached first as went as far as first his first time up. Yep. On deck is TJ. That's a nice strike. Good pitch there by Tyler. Another nasty curve, I think. It's a good hit to right field. And Kevin Bowman with a nice play. So now two down in the uh, top of the fifth. Now it'll be T-Bolt who uh, actually grounded out to short his first time up. If he gets on, Trevor Kocheski will be the hitter. Yeah, Greenfield's definitely got to get something going with two outs here. So 
Now Tyler. Good way to start. Great pitch. Tyler from the windup. And that one's fouled out of play. Now another one eaten by the woods. So now the count's uh, two now. Or 0 and 2, sorry. <laughs> Tyler from the windup. Good curve. Just outside. So now the count's one and two. Good hit. In the gap. And nope. Nice catch there by Kevin Bauman. Another one. So that's a very quick inning. One, two, three. Three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's still Frontier 5 and Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Good. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and we have a new pitcher for Greenfield. It's Brody Baird on the mound. He was playing second. Now he's pitching for the Wave. Yeah, and Frontier's really got that every inning with that two-out rally. They get something going, and it just works for them. Brody Baird, the senior, is out there. Well, that closes the books on David Carey. He didn't throw badly, but just, again, you mentioned the two-out rallies, and sometimes it works that way. Yeah, so now up to bat is uh, Jake Dodge, who's playing center field. Got an infield single his last time up. That one's inside. So, counts 1-0. That one be, I think, side and low. Yep. So, uh, counts two now. Now. That one's away. Got away from the catcher, but uh, the count's three now. So, Dodge is probably gonna take a pitch here. <laughs> they call that one a strike. That was pretty low. Yeah. I guess anything close at this point. <coughs> and now, now the ump is in a war on the frontier bench. <laughs> this ump is not taking anything, any guff from anybody today. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we woke up on the wrong, wrong side, side of the bed. Yeah, I think so. Jake Dodge back to the pitcher. And that one's quick out there. So, uh, good contact, though. Just well, he had the timing down. Just couldn't get it out of the infield. Yeah. Now up to bat, it's Tyler Branoski. He, uh, he had an RBI up the middle last up bat and struck out in his first. But he reached first. That one's foul tipped. <laughs> High curve. Ooh. So the count's two and one. Third. One the deals. Another curve. Oh, wait, got away from him now. So now the count's even with two and two. <laughs> from the stretch. Foul back. It's going to maybe stay in play. Nope. Just caught the top of the top of the screen. The catcher, Cardinal, has tried to dive for it after it came off the screen. Yeah, good effort there by uh, Canales. <laughs> I think the ball is dead off the top of that, though. I think you're right. It's now Baranowski. Let's see. Protects again. 
So the count's still one and two. Pranofsky doing a good job of protecting the plate. Oh, huge hit. And that one's... Oh, good speed there by uh, David Kerr to get that one, track that one down. Good range in the outfield. He really gave that a poke. Two down, and the batter's going to be Pruzak, who struck out twice so far in this game. Yeah, and that was absolute moonshot off the bat. <laughs> the last one. Now we got Shane Prusak up the bat. He's bunting. And I don't want to go foul. Down the third baseline. Shane looks a little frustrated today. Yeah, as he struck out twice, swinging both times. We'll see if he can get bat on the ball, though. Oh, good curve. So now Shane's got to protect. Counts 0 and 2. Baird. Good, good hit. And that one goes up the middle. So Shane will reach, Pru Shane Prusak will reach first. Just basically stuck at the end of the bat on that one and just popped it up the middle. So Shane with his first hit. Yeah, and another two out rally here. Here we go again. <laughs> And Barnsey will be the hitter. He flied out to the pitchers last time up. Walk scored a run and grounded out to short. And uh, Barrett checks on him on first. Barrett checks Prusak. So now uh, Shane takes off. Throw beat him, but he got it under the tag. Good throw by uh, Cardinalis to just good speed by Pruzak to beat it. Yeah, so now you got a man in scoring position with Kyle, Bern Kyle Barnes, who's a great hitter for Frontier. He's going to take off to third. So now Shane's third. So Baird, the stretch, that one I think was high and away. So the count, I think it's two and one or maybe three and one. That's a walk. There you go, Kyle re reaches first on a walk. Runners at the corners, and big Sam Schreiber comes up. He's already done some damage today. That one's in there for a strike. So now... Ooh, good pickoff play there. Attempt by uh, Barrett. Skyle, he won't be at first for very long. He'll probably take off. The Baird knows it. Long await out there. Huge swing and a miss. Kyle takes off to the second, though. So he has a couple steals on the night. So now, in threat to score, you have Shane Prusak at third, Kyle, Bar Kyle Barnes at second, and Sam Schreiber up the bat, who has a couple RBIs on the night. That one's in the dirt. Try to get him to bite on the hook on that one. Nothing doing. Yeah, and they want to, the pitchers for Greenfield, they've been pretty careful pitching to the, these guys. Ooh, and that one. That was a good pitch. <coughs> so 
So now the count I might be three and one. Great shot there. And that's going to be caught, though, by the right fielder, or left fielder, excuse me. So he was deep. So that won the inning. No two out rally this time, but we go to the top of the sixth. Frontier still comfortably ahead 5 0. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by. Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrow Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. Then we go to the top of the sixth inning. It'll be Trevor Kucheski and the two Jakes, Jake Peter and Jake Sack for the Greenfield Green Wave. Who are six outs away from being shut out by Tyler Baranowski. Very loud train over there. <laughs> that one's in there for a strike. Well, he's showing no signs of slowing down, I'll tell you. Yeah, Tyler's been pitching very well all night. Another swing and a miss. So now that counts two now. Good way to start the inning for Baranowski. Make it, make it. That one's it's a shortstop. And they'll get one in, one out. Barnes to Bryant. And actually, that was a pinch hitter. That was not Trevor Kaczewski. Was, uh, that was Drew Conant, who hit, it, who hit for uh, Kaczewski. Yes, yeah, so now up to bat is... Uh, Jake Petrin. He uh, struck out swinging last time up to bat. Oof. There. That one's in there for a strike. This counts uh, one and one. It's like the same spot, but that one's called the ball. It's counts two and one. <laughs> now Baranowski. That one's a strike. So now uh, it counts two and two. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, a little outside. A yeah, little outside. So now that counts full. Three and two. Fouls that one off. Let's see if Jake can put one into play here. He does, up the third baseline. Now it's over to Jake. And now we have two outs. I'd say defense has been real solid for Frontier today. No errors. Very, very, very uh, consistent. Yeah, and that definitely helps. Um, in that uh, Hopkins game, they had a couple errors in that one inning, which really let the Hopkins take in the control of that lead. But uh, Frontier really battled back in that game. Jake Sack is the hitter. He's grounded out twice to shortstop in this game. Oh. That one's fouled off. Pernowski, mm. push outside. <laughs> one, two, 
Patrick Sack looking to get a hit on it here, and that one's a strikeout looking. It's a one, two, three inning, and uh, Baranowski mows him down again. At the end of five and a half, it's still Frontier Five, rate to nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. It'll be Martino, Bryant, and Bauman, the hitters for Frontier. To start the bottom of the sixth against Brody Baird. No one's outside. So now that counts one and now. Martino is a good, great hitter for Frontier. Oof. That curveball is kind of in the dirt. So now that counts two and now. One's high. So Martino's going to wait for his. It's 3 0. Baird needs to work all the way back. He's got two hits and scored two runs in this game, and he's on again. So now, uh, now up to bat, you have Jacob Bryant. We had a hit to left field um, last inning, or the fourth inning. And here comes Coach Sushnik, and I think we're going to have a pitching change, it looks like. They're going to move Baird to the right field. And they're going to give the ball to Jake Petrin, who's a freshman. He'll be the third pitcher of the day. Looks like uh, Trevor will move on to uh, right field. And David over to short. Yeah, so Frontier really uh, dominating this game 5 nothing. Great uh, defense there. Um, but the defense has been solid. The pitching has been really solid. And they've had <clears throat> a lot of two-out rallies. So they've taken advantage of the opportunities that have been given them. And uh, we have three outs, uh, Greenfield outs away from putting this one in the bank. Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Alec Echo very nearly was a casualty. Because I was stuck down for something anyway. No, no, no. 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 I, heard, I heard heads up and then I heard the poop. And I'm like, dangerous job. Dangerous. Yeah, we're definitely in a dangerous spot over here. <laughs> I don't trust this first baseman no more. <laughs> now I know what. That was the perfect timing. I heard this close. Right up the right field line. Perfect. Perfect. It's literally the second phone time. And here we go. Jake Petrin on the hill for Greenfield. Martino walked and is now on first. And the batter will be big Jake Bryant, who had a big single. He's one out of three today. Yeah, we'll see if he can get a hold of one here. Oof. Ben getting back to first. There. He's going to take off. Now on gets away from him. So Ben's going to take off the third. He's going to get third. They'll throw down. That was a great heads up play there by Ben Martino. The pass ball puts Martino on third. <laughs> great heads up. And now you have a man in scoring, posi scoring position for Jake Bryan. Hard at grounder, and the, they'll throw home. And, and he got he got under it. Great RBI single there by Jake Bryant. And that makes it six nothing. Yeah. 
And the batter will be Bauman. Kevin Bauman. Bryant leads off first. <laughs> he sings on that one on side. Yeah, he was way behind that one. Hi. So now that counts one and one. Carlos telling his guy to calm down a bit. Bring it down. Now one's in the dirt and it gets away from him. So Jacob Bryan will take an easy stolen base to second. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are cracking me up with some of the the wheels on that freight, is that what the guy said? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh. They tried, tried to pick him off the ball, I think, hit Bryant. Yeah. I, I don't think he's a huge threat to steal. I could be wrong, but... No, <laughs> I don't think he is. Kevin gets a hold of that one. So. Well, he definitely has the timing down. Yeah. This kid, Petron, throws hard for, for a first-year player, freshman. He's just got a good fastball. So now that counts even two and two. That one's outside. So now the count's full, three and two. Kev, who's a good, great hitter here for Frontier. See if he can time one up. Pick off attempt. <laughs> <laughs> now Jacob saw 30. <laughs> yeah. Got down for that one. Protects there. That one's into the woods. Woods that just keeps eating them. <laughs> That's right. Can't hmm. still fall. Right. Fouls that Pop one up, up over our way. Where is it? It's out of play. I thought I was next. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. So Kevin Bauman with a battle here, see if he can win it, or if uh, Jake Pertron can win the battle. See if Kev can time one up. Ooh, Ooh. that one's a tough call. He gets a walk. No outs yet. Well, Liam could blow it open here with a. If he gets a hold of one. Foul back. Comes out swinging. Liam struck out uh, looking his last time up. He hit, hit by a pitch and scored a run, and he's grounded out to the pitcher in this game. So we'll see if uh, counts from 0 and 1 and he'll check Whoa. on Jake again. He's definitely not a threat to steal. I don't know why he keeps throwing over there. Well, not in the mind of the pitcher he isn't apparently. Apparently he's worth keeping an eye on. Yeah. Bunt. So we'll get that out of so, sacrifice there by uh, Liam Skrabisky. And... It'll be Dodge. Jake Dodge will be up to bat. Um, and Jake Bryan will go, go over. They'll, he'll move the runners on that one. So, two guys in scoring position. Good block by Cardinalis. 
<laughs> He's showing bunt already, and he'll step off. A suicide squeeze with Jake Bryant. That'd yeah. be interesting. Definitely an interesting play. Now it's a strike. Now the count's one and one. So, uh, see what Jake Dodge can do here. Two guys in scoring position. He bunts. That one's high Popped to. it up, though. Yep. Yeah. Two gouts and the batter is Baranowski with two on. See if Tyler can do something here. Have fun with two. That one's away. Just counts one and oh. So, Petrin delivers. Now it's way and outside, or high and outside. This count's two now. He's got to work his way back in this count. Now it's a high hit fly ball to left field. And that one will end the inning. We retires the side. We go to the top of the seventh. Frontier up 6 nothing. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals right next to the common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrow Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. We go to the top of the seventh, and Baranowski spinning a brilliant two-hit shutout so far. He's got David Carey, Mike Pierce, and Carlos Cardinales, the hitters. Carey has one of the two hits on Baranowski in this game today. And yeah, that hit came in the fourth inning. To right field. Um, so now the uh, count's 0 one is that one was a strike. Now it's on outside, but another strike. 0 oh, and 2. So now Carey's got to protect here. Bernowski. Just low. It's low. So good hitters count here. Or no. It's the other way around. <laughs> One and two. Kerr gets a hit to right field and a great catch by Kevin Bauman. So that will make Greenfield's uh, down to their last two outs. That was by far the hardest hit ball for Greenfield today. And on the line caught by Bauman in right field. Pierce is grounded out to third and flown out to left field. Now one's a strike. This counts 0 and 1. That one's got away from him. So, uh, counts 2 and, or 1 and 1. 
Good pain to make it. No, that's Jacob Bryant. No, Jacob. Jacob Bryant's first place one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now that counts. Two and one. Good hitter's count here. That's a high fly ball, and now we'll be out of play. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm not parked over there. <laughs> Counts twos. It's even. Bernowski delivers. No, it's going to be outside. Way. So now count is full. Three and two. Gets a hold of it. And it looks like that one will drop for a hit. So, uh,. Greenfield could have something going. First, that's the third hit of the game for Greenfield. <clears throat> See if Franoski can... Throws it over to first. Ooh, very close. Now, uh... Up to bat, you have uh, Carlos Cardinals. Yeah. Catcher for. Uh, he got on board with a base hit and he flied the pitcher. So he's one for two. <laughs> this is only Greenfield's third time around the order that I can see. Yeah. And it's been pretty much lights out pitching by uh, Bernoski. And they bunt down the third base line. Oh! That one's over the head of Jake Bryant. And then it's out of play. So Greenfield has hope here. That one has sailed over Bryant. So one out, two on. Two runners in scoring position. So it looks like we have a pinch hitter here for MJ Pollen. If a fly ball to right, he'll take off to home though. And he'll make it. So Greenfield scoring their first run. And that breaks the shutout. So it's six to one now. With two out. I gotta figure that out. Wait, senior slicer left hand and Smith photos is the 26th. Stack fly there by uh, Nick. Briscano? Bresciano. Nick Bresciano. Nick Bresciano. Thanks, buddy. So it won't be a shutout today for Baranowski, although he certainly earned pitch like he deserved it. Yeah, Greenfield is lucky to get something going here in the seventh inning. It's count's 0 1 for uh, Talia Podolski. Now it's a strike. Now the count's even, 1-1. One one. Runner will... Oh. Fouled off. No one's in the woods. That one's a little high. Thought it was a step off thing. Ooh, that one is a I think outside a little bit. 
Hey, yeah. Tyler's got to bring it back. I think the count's three and one. And that one is uh, out of play. So now the count is full, three and two. Let's see if Branowski can end it himself. Now let's pop up. That one. Another one in the woods. Over towards us. <laughs> So this is a battle by uh, Tyler Perlowski. See if Bernowski or Bolski can win the battle here. Ooh. And he'll take his base. So Greenfield not willing to go quietly into that good night. They have the bases loaded for T-Bolt. All right, I think we just got in second and first. I'm sorry, uh, anyway, first and second, excuse me. <coughs> that one's a strike. Scouts own one for Tyler. Another good one. Strike. Throw it, Martin will throw it over to second. This counts 0 and 2. <laughs> and strike three to end the game. And that's how it will end. So Frontier wins again. Another solid performance on the mound by Tyler Baranowski as he three hits the Greenfield Green Wave and allows one run in that final inning. But uh, pretty much all Frontier offensively today. And good defense as well. Great pitching. Adds up to another W for the Red Hawks. So the Hawks beat Greenfield by a count of 6-1. to one. My broadcast partner. Oh, hold on a second. Do you have any final thoughts before we go? Uh, just an all-out great game for uh, Frontier as they had a couple two-out rallies. And then um, Greenfield... You know, I think they uh, they just couldn't get the bats going and some great defense and pitching by uh, Frontier to really win this game. Yeah, it was uh, it was all around solid performance by the uh, the Frontier Red Hawks who stay undefeated on the young season. So, the broadcast partner Tom Verrill for the crew here at FCAT and the executive producer of Frontier Sports is Kevin Murphy. I'm Chris Collins. The final score for the final time from South Deerfield: Frontier beats Greenfield by a count of six to one. Thanks for watching. So long from South Deerfield.